Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can fix up a cracked manifold. This Volvo 940 and many others have a lot of cracks on the rear of the manifold. And what this can result in is less power, more noise, and yeah, you don't want your exhaust leaking. So that's something we're going to fix today. I'm going to show you how you can do it yourself. You need a MIG or a TIG welding machine and some other equipment, but I'm going to show you step by step what you need to do. I got my welding jacket on for protection and it's freaking cold. Winter starting, so it's almost freezing right now and I don't have heating in my shop, so it's pretty cold. This here is a B230 turbo manifold and what these are known for is cracking and cracking really bad. As you can see here, there is a small crack or small, it's actually quite big. Here's another crack. And here is another one. What you want to do when fixing this, the first thing of course is making sure that the entire area is completely cleaned. Then at the end of where all of the cracks are, you want to drill a hole. The hole makes sure that the crack won't go any further. Clean it up and then with the use of a die grinder, you need to make a big groove in there. That way there's full penetration and the weld will last very long. Now it's clearly visible how many cracks there actually were. On every crack at the end I drilled a hole. Now it's time to get the die grinder out and make some nice grooves in here. That way we get nice and deep penetration on the weld. As you can see, all of the cracks now have big roofs in them. You can better use a Dremel for this. It will take ages, but it will look a lot cleaner. But this is on the inside, and it will just fill it up with the tick. Before you do this, please make sure that you also clean the inside. So as you can see, I've already cleaned the inside, where the welds are. And the next step will be getting some heat in there. On cast materials or really thick materials, you really want to heat it up. Why? Because otherwise, if you just weld it up, it will immediately crack again. It's called a hot crack because of the material. This here is super thick and it shrinks a lot slower than the weld itself. So the weld shrinks really fast and then it cracks open again and you can keep on doing this until the material is warm and then it stops cracking. But you're better off heating the entire piece and then weld it. And the best thing about it is that you don't need to weld it that hot because the material is flaming hot right now. The B230 manifold is all welded up and quickly wrapped in this 
heat blanket. This is a welding blanket and what it does, normally it keeps all the spatter out of things, but I find that this thing insulates very, very good. And what you wanna do is keep all of the heat inside the material for as long as possible. That way it minimizes the risk of the manifold cracking. Because like I said, if you don't heat this up properly or let it cool down properly, this material is very prone to crack when welding. So always make sure that you wrap it in aluminum foil in a big blanket for welding or what you also can do is drop it in a bucket of sand that also works very good one very important thing the deeper the v the better the weld will be and you also want to make sure that you clean the inside very thoroughly if you don't the suit and all of yeah just the mess inside will go inside the weld and the weld will be very porous so make sure you clean the in and the outside and make the v as deep as possible that way there's a lot more penetration the best thing is to have 100 penetration and just have a complete open groove in there and then weld it now you can repair your own manifold i hope this video will save you some money now or in the future and if you want more of these informational videos please let me know in the comments and also make sure to get the right filler wire for your application. Every material behaves differently, so get the right filler wire. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, share the video, and like I said, leave a comment below, let me know what you think about it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.